yo what's going on youtube welcome back to another video and today i will be showing you on how to put a cob belt on any of your joggers or your regular outfits but if you're new here hit that subscribe button turn on the bell notification as well let's not waste any more time and let's get straight into the video all you want to do is make sure you have your outfit ready that you want the cob belt on so after you do have it ready you will need to make your way over to any clothing store on the map it doesn't matter which one you go to Go over to the top section, go over to the t-shirts, then you can put any t-shirt you want. It doesn't matter which t-shirt you apply. So pick any t-shirt. Now just back out once. Go over to the utility vest afterwards. You will need to purchase the peach plate carrier. Now once you've done that, you will need to make your way over to the front counter and save this as an outfit on slot one. Now back out once, go over to the highest coveralls. Then it doesn't matter which highest coveralls you purchase out of these last four. So I usually purchase the hazard. Now once you purchase the hazard, make your way over to the closest telescope. So you can do the telescope glitch. It doesn't matter which one you go to as well. Once you're there, all you want to do is run past the telescope while pushing right on the D-pad and pull away from the telescope and your mask should disappear like this. Open up interaction menu. Go over to style and apply the saved outfit we made at the clothing store once. Back out from the interaction menu and walk away from the telescope and you should see your gas mask glitch out on your saved outfit like this. Then you will need to make your way over to the mask store afterwards and save this as an outfit on slot 1. Now back out from the mask store, open up interaction menu, go over to style and apply the saved outfit we just made 4 times very quickly. Now open up your policy menu, go over to online, go over to jobs, go to play jobs, go to Rockstar Created, go over to missions, and start up the mission called a tie down of a job. Now once the alert pops up, accept the alert. Now you should be loading into the job menu like this. So don't really mess with anything, just confirm settings, and you can do this solo on this part. Now launch the job. Now, once you do launch the job, you should see your peach plate carrier disappear off your saved outfit. And you should see your gas mask on your character head like this. Now, you will need to make your way over to the closest ammunition store. Now, you will need to save this as an outfit on slot 1. Once you've done that, you will need to back out from the outfit section. Pull up your phone. Go to jobs list. And you must quit the job through the jobs list. Now it will be launching you into the last session you were in like this. Now you will need to open up a pause menu once again after you do load into the last session you were in. Go over to online, go to jobs, play jobs, Rockstar created, go over to versus and you will need to start up the job called truck off. Now once you do launch the job called truck off, you will need to go over to clothing Make sure it's on classic and invite a friend or a stranger to help you out. Just at least one person. Now, once they do join, launch the mission, go over to the versus outfits and make sure you put it on the justice like this. Now, make sure you both ready up. And once you do both ready up, you'll be loading into the mission with the police outfit like this. Now, make sure the person that is helping you does not kill you during this part and make sure they do not complete the mission on this part as well now all you want to do is open up interaction menu go over to style go over to the helmet visor and spam right on the d-pad on helmet visor for at least 30 seconds once that is over with leave your interaction menu open and leave your controller on the floor or wherever so you could get kicked for being idle so this might take a while it took me like for three to four minutes to get kicked you will get kicked though for being idle. Now once you do get kicked for being idle, an alert should pop up like this. Wait at least for 5 seconds, then accept the alert, push continue. Now after you've done that, if you do load into story mode after this, just basically load into an invite only session or a public lobby, it doesn't matter. But I loaded into a regular lobby, so that's fine, it doesn't matter. Now once you do load into the online lobby, you should have the police offer like this. Now you will need to open up your pause menu, go over to online, go to jobs, 
go to pay jobs, go to Rockstar created, go to Versus, and start up the job called Crooked Cop. Now accept the alert. Once you accept the alert, you'll be needing to invite a friend or a stranger, just at least one person that can help you out. Now on the clothing, make sure you put it on player owned, okay? Now confirm settings, invite one person to help you out. Now once they join, ready up. Then you will need to go over to the owned outfits and click one to the right and ready to play. So after you click one to the right on owned outfits, make sure you both ready up as well. You will be loading into the mission with the cop belt on your saved outfit, but we are not done yet. So once you do load into the mission with the cop belt, you will need to open up your interaction menu, go over to style, go over to accessories, go over to gear, and make sure you equip a LCD earpiece. So it doesn't matter which earpiece you equip. Now, once you've done that, get inside any of these vehicles, then you will need to make your way over to the closest clothing store. Then once you're there, you will need to get out of this vehicle like this and make sure you have the earpiece on through your interaction menu. If you do not have it on, just equip it on. And if you already have it on, just leave it on. Now, pull up your phone, go over to jobs list, and you must quit the jobs through the jobs list like this. Now, once you've done that, it will be launching you into the last session you were in as well. Then just make your way over to the closest clothing store once again and simply just save this as an outfit once. So this part's very important as well, guys. Before you leave a GTA Online session, make sure you apply the saved outfit you made with the cop belt at least four times, then leave the GTA 5 Online session, okay? Make sure you do that. But yeah, guys, if you enjoyed this content and this video, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, turn on the bell notification as well, and hopefully y'all did enjoy this video. Catch you on the next GTA 5 Online video. Peace.